Leslie? This is Leslie. She's from Seldon. And she's going to give us a little explanation of what that is. And this is what about the first time she's ever given a public speech. Okay, well, first of all, I'm not from Seldon. And that's an important distinction. I, I appreciate what they're doing, and I want to... I want to pursue what they're doing with this community. Mm -hmm. Oh, Selda is a Selda. Well, let me start. Let me start in a different spot. We've heard everything is wrong. We, we, we know it. We hear it all the time. We know everything that there is that out out there now that's wrong. And we don't. We have solutions. We have we have moved to man. That's a solution. We have. Uh, cooperative, that's the solution. We have making important choices with our money, the way we spend it, that's the solution. But we have something else, and that's, that's community rights and home rule. And I don't know if anybody here has heard of that, something about that. Well, that's what CELDIF works with. They're Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund, and they're out of Pennsylvania, and they've been working with the farmers there that suffer under every hideous thing the corporations want to do to them. They do anything they want. They're poor. They can't help themselves. They have sludge. They have the coal mines. They have, oh, name something horrible and it gets dumped there. That's, that's how bad it is for the people in Pennsylvania. So these attorneys, they, they started out before they were attorneys helping these farmers in Pennsylvania. And they could not represent them in court because they didn't have their uh, their law degree. So they taught them how to help themselves in their communities to stand up against these corporations that were harming them. And it worked. It worked really well for them. They were able to fight the problems with the things that they were taught. And so Seldis made this uh, something that every community can use. And they've, they've got like the, the backbone of the whole thing laid out for communities to use to, to help themselves. And the main thing that they go after is community rights. The communities have rights. They have rights to clean water. They have rights to healthy food. They have rights, rights to safety. Nature has rights. Animals have rights. And it has to... Since things don't work so well starting at the top, and for, for, for us it doesn't work well trying to go to the top and change things, the idea is to start in the community. And next year, I'm going to be uh, starting an initiative to do this, to, to bring community rights to Tacoma. And they've been doing it in Seattle now this year. It's initiative I-103, if anybody's heard of that. And uh, Jeff Reifman is, um, he retired from Microsoft and he's taken this on. And he's collected, he had to collect, I think it was 27,000 signatures and he's 7,000 short of getting the initiative on the ballot for Seattle. But Spokane has been working on this for about maybe three or four years. And they got it on the ballot last year and it didn't pass by a thousand votes. So that's a really big deal. And there are so many large cities now in Washington that are working on this. Tacoma is the last large city to get involved. That they've gone statewide. So now it's a statewide campaign for community rights. And it's, and the reason that we can do this is because we have a clause in the Constitution that allows um, that allows for home rule, and that's what it would go under. And the reason that it's important to work on this is because even move to a man leaves gap. There are certain things it doesn't cover. And so the corporations can get through that. It doesn't it doesn't do anything to alleviate the commerce clause which allows everything to flow through and it's and it, it gives them um, it's hard to stop things that are going to be commerce. They've made it really hard. And so if it flows to the commerce clause there are just all kinds of ways that they can that they can um, keep us from impeding the corporations from from doing anything. So, yeah. Once we amend the Constitution, 
Well, amending the Constitution is not enough. We've got a couple of things outside of amending the Constitution. We have the Commerce Clause, which it does not address. And then we have the Trade Agreement, which it does not address. So even everything that we do is really important. Move to changing the, amending the Constitution is really important. But then we have to work on, on different directions at the same time. And this is another direction that fills in the gap that amending the Constitution won't do. Question. Corporations, when they first were, when charters for corporations first started in the United States, they were extremely limited yes, they because were. they had to be for a common goal. They were not for profit. They were that you were getting limited liability because you were providing something that was essential for society. That's gone. Mm -hmm. They were temporary as well. Yeah, and they were temporary. As soon as you fulfilled your need to build a bridge, and they could just pull them if you if you, if you were in a good good corporation they could just... The, the stock yeah. market okay, changed all that, turned our system into a gambling economy that was based on gambling and corporations were to, again, the people that were gambling were, had no liability as to what that entity that they were gambling on did and by the rules of the stock market and what the laws got morphed into, the goal of a corporation now isn't to provide a service, is to make a profit for the shareholder. Mm -hmm. That is its sole so purpose of being, <laughs> is to make the maximum profit for the shareholder, or the shareholder could sue them and win for not, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's legal or illegal. If it's Ill if it's legal, use it. If it's not legal, get the law changed so it's legalized. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're trying to do, whoever you're going to damage, it doesn't matter. The job of a corporation now on the stock market is to make a maximum profit for the shareholder. That's what we by need law. to change. It's right, by law. By law. They have so to do that. They, that's why the psychosis thing that that corporations uh, that are openly traded on the stock market are considered psychotic because there is no morality in it. Although there's now a morality um, variant that uh, there's a, um, I can't remember, something B Corp that they've come up with that actually has a uh, community purpose. And there's a corporation back east that's doing it as a laundry. That their job isn't necessarily to make a profit, but to provide jobs for people that are economically deprived. And changing the rule as to what corporations could use as speech doesn't solve the fact that you've got an entity that is, at its core, bad for everything except for short-term profit. And that's what we need to fix as the basis because. You know, the idea of capitalism isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, there are wonderful examples, you know, uh, in general, it's a horrible thing for a lot of things, but we accomplish some amazing things through capitalism. And I'll throw my ultimate present day capitalist out there, which is Elon Musk, who is making electric cars. He's got the biggest solar company in the country. And right now we've got, his, his private rockets are servicing the space station. and all financed out of his pocket basically and then federal and, and shareholder stuff has come involved but he's got people that are behind him not just for profit which is the only reason that his car company stands a chance of surviving but because they're believers in his what he's going for so he's got an agenda but it doesn't happen to necessarily all be profit well, I saw a hand raised there that will respond to that uh, in that specific case because he is not striving for maximum profit in the near to, di maybe not distant future, but in the near to not so near future, um, another capitalist who is striving for maximum profit in the same industry is gonna come along and put him out of business. Well, That's the nature of capitalism. Yeah, if you do not strive for maximum profit, someone else will and you're gonna lose market share. That's right. like the little computers, the guy who made the computers that they could take the, they could use in Africa. Mm -hmm. And then oh, yeah. who came in and who came in? Was it Intel that came in and undercut him? And well, he was trying to make the little prank. The little green. Buy one, give one to the, a kid in Africa. Yeah, the little green, mm -hmm. green and white. Uh, a, a buddy of mine's got one. They're horrible. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, in, in, in terms of uh, the private rockets that are servicing NASA, uh, NASA did that on public money 50 years ago. Just throwing that out there. Capitalism 50 years slower. No, but <laughs> he, he, his his original intent. When he first started his rocket company, he was putting NASA out of business, and then NASA became his biggest customer. 
So thanks new morph because his goal is to get to Mars. But uh, that's a step along the way. Is he wants to start from scratch well, and do it better. We have to stop burning all our money on war. Yeah. Which he has. None of his companies have anything to do with war. But know? that's. And, and his missile, his rocket technology is not I'd like Leslie to explain to us uh, how Seldiv are trying to address this particular issue by filing, by getting home rule which would go around the Commerce Clause. My understanding of the Commerce mm. Clause is that if you're a corporation, you come in, you want to build a Walmart, Tacoma objects, demonstrations, all of that, but then Walmart fulfills all of the environmental impact statement, all of the other regulatory hurdles. Tacoma, by law, is required, required to grant that license, even if everybody in Tacoma is opposed to it. And I would like you to explain to us how Seldiff wants to address this issue. They don't fulfill, Walmart doesn't fulfill all those requirements. Well, it does. They just go right around them. Well, well, basically, what what Sel what what Seldiff is doing is going outside of the system. They're saying that the system doesn't work at all, it's, and so all we yeah. do all we do when we work within the system is refine the system better and better, so that when they when they ask for their permits, they're perfect. There's so there's no basis to object yeah. object, and I don't know what exactly you're referring to. Well, except that Seldiff is. What Seldiff wants to do, and it's an interesting proposition, they want to set up what they call home rule. Under the state constitution, mm -hmm. we have a right in Tacoma to say that we as a community have an interest that supersedes the interest of the corporation. Whereas right now, under state and federal law even, the corporation's rights supersede your rights. Mm -hmm. So if you could elaborate on that a little bit. Um, I haven't looked at my notes in a long time. I don't know where you want me to go. Just you gotta, say you gotta, it. you gotta just <laughs> off the top of your head. You're I'm doing great. Say. She's doing great, isn't she? Hey, you're just giving me one more uh, issue to work about on what uh, I'm working on about what great. Occupied Promo will be doing in the future, trying to rewrite laws like that. Well, the the main thing is. Um, if anybody wants to know more about this, they have a, a, a very good school put together on the internet to explain it in depth. And it's eight lessons that are 23 minutes each that will tell you everything about this, will teach you a lot about history that you may not know. And from what I've seen out there, I don't think there is anything that goes deeper than what Seldiff is working on. And so that's what I'm going to be proposing to the community. Where is that website? Uh, it, you can just go under Democracy School. It's very simple. You, or you can go under CELDF, C-E-L-D-F. Yeah. -E and when you get there, look for online school. Okay. And just read what they have to say. It's very it's, it's very comprehensive. And, and it just takes a... When I, when I looked at it, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't not do it. I just, it was so compelling, it was so, so necessary, it seemed to me. Is it, did I get everything in? I think you did very okay. well. All right. Yay! What's that saying about 